Hello, welcome back to the channel. Um, so this week we're going to go on with episode 5, uh, be in three videos for uh, parts 1, 2 and 3. Um, and uh, yeah, let's get right back into it. From now on, whenever a human speaks to you, you will be able to read their current thoughts. You take care of getting the lance. It's imperative. I totally I'll lost the lance. Preparing our departure. <laughs> She has to pay for all the harm she's done to me. Meanwhile, let us remain on our guard against any last-minute surprises. I know my brother well. He never prepares for war if he has no chance of winning. Finding out that I'm a demon makes no difference. I haven't come all this way just to fail so close to the goal. If I'm asking you all these things, it's for your own good, you know. You are keeping up the good work, I see. But I'm telling you, keep your guard up. Everyone is rather on edge right now. Don't make me your competition, Deriche. You are no match. Ah, oh, jeez. I've already pissed off most of these people. <laughs> that killed Trust them. yourself. Emma. It's all already in there. Mortimer's office. Episode f Dear friends, I'd like five, to thank check, you mate. for your continued trust and confidence. I admit that during these past few days, there has been much upheaval. I understand you have all been affected by this. Nevertheless, the world doesn't stop turning, and we are in fact on the verge of reshaping the modern world. That is what we are all here for, my lord. Thank you for your enthusiasm, Monsieur Bonaparte. Now you all know what we have to do. I cannot warn you strongly enough. If one of Sir Gregory's guests asks to speak with you, remain on your guard. It is highly likely that he will try to rally as many supporters to his cause as he can. Now, please, go and get some rest before the conference begins, which won't be long now. Louis. Stay with me a moment, won't you? I'll be needing your services in a certain matter. Yes, of course. What's the matter? Louis, you are the only one here who I totally trust. It is very likely that Gregory will take possession of some of the members of our team. I shall keep them in check over the next few hours. However, I'll need you to... How can I say this? To persuade the members of Gregory's group. What do you mean by that exactly? You'll have free reign, my son. Persuade all of them. Use every possible means imaginable. But no physical violence. Let's be very, very clear about that. You must bring them all over to our side. One after the other. You can do this. I know it. Very well, father. Now go, and come back and see me once you've finished. I'll be well, off there. Given my track record, I don't know if I'll be able to or not. I've had a pretty bad... Uh, I'll do that. Let's just start the quest. Oh, hey, a servant who I can't talk to, and his mask is now black. So, go and take care of your mission, and come back and see me once you've accomplished it, Louis. Hey, finally we found someone. Duke Manuel. <laughs> Dariche, I am surprised you dare speak to me. Come now, my lord Duke. I hope Sir Gregory will make you sorry for betraying him. In politics, one must know how to play the ball on the bounce. Betraying this him? This might be hard for you to believe, but things have changed. What are you implying? Oh, hey. Oh, hold on. Uh, good boy. Politics. He looks very sure of himself. I wonder what he's got planned. I've simply found out Ooh, more. Close. about what? About the project. 
And oh, he's vulnerable. also about the parties present. It was enough to that convince was a close me. One. I... All right. What have you found then? When you find out, you'll hasten to join us. Right. Well, you have piqued my curiosity, Dorishe. I have a funny feeling you're hiding something from me. Why exactly did you choose to follow Lord Mortimer? He's, he's, he's uh, immune to that. Hold on, let's check this Mortimer out. Mortimer has a plan. I knew it. He must have persuaded the others, which means I'm the last one. Om knows he's going to lose. You're on your own. That would certainly work. But anyway, hold on. Let's just go here. I have no faith in Sir Gregory. Indeed. And why is that? I don't know. He acts like someone who knows they've already lost. Of course. Given Mortimer's team, honestly, didn't you have any doubts about your winning? Sorry, not for one second. Only chance. And that everything was planned. <laughs> no need to apologize. Lord Mortimer planned everything to make you believe. You... Everything is going exactly according to his plan. Not once has Lord Mortimer been the least bit worried. Not once I think this has might he be the wavered. One. Never has he had the slightest doubt. And do you know the reason for such confidence? No. I didn't need to ask whether or not to join Mortimer. He acts like a winner. He knows he's going to win. The game is over. And Holm knows it as well. But where did we go wrong then? Luis, tell me. Where did we go wrong? They're all going to vote for Mortimer Manuel. But, no, th that is impossible. Will you be the only one to raise a hand in favor of Sir Gregory? I, but... The one to whom everything happens, who reaps all the consequences? No, I cannot afford to lose for Spain. I, I do <laughs> not want Spain to pay the price of an alliance made too hastily. Uh, not because of me, indeed. Uh, it would seem things have changed. Thank you for letting me know, Luis. Uh, may I call Ooh. you Luis? Of course you can, Manuel. In fact, to be perfectly honest, I... I never really made up my mind. Naturally. I... Yes. D do you think Lord Mortimer will tell me a little more about this if I pop in to see him? What is more normal than wanting to get informed before you make a decision? Yes, I won. Look at him, squirming on the end of a hook so as not to lose face. I love it. Of course, he'd be delighted. Perfect, it's a deal. You can count on me at the conference, Luis. Marvelous, if you don't mind, I'll be leaving you now. I'll go straight to Mortimer to tell him the good news. Yes, yes, please do, go ahead, Luis. Okay. Hmm, huh. I wonder if I can steal stuff from his room while he's here. Might not be anything. Oh, hold on! I heard something. Oh, it's just a painting. All right, let's head on to the next person, whoever we find first. Really. Oh, hey, so some of them are in their rooms. Your Eminence, hmm. would you have a moment? I shouldn't really, Louis, as you can imagine. Rest assured, I come just as a friend. No matter how I look at it, between my affection for you and the conference, I can't hide my disappointment at your changing sides, Louis. With all due respect to Lord Mortimer, how could you follow him like this? I understand your disappointment, Your Eminence, but I have good reason to. Ah. Uh, it's got nothing to do with it, but you, you didn't come and see me in my room a few hours ago, did you? Hmm. Does he remember anything? Uh, oh no. Oh. No, I, I'm sorry. Y you must be mistaken. I've been speaking to Lord Mortimer in his study. I, I must have dreamed it then. It seems so real. Don't blame yourself, Your Chase. Chase. We're all exhausted. I can assure you of that. That's very kind of you. I don't know what's wrong with me at the moment, but I feel rather fragile. Poor man seems terrified. It'd be a good idea if I reassured him a little before trying to get him to change sides. Oh, what did you want from Oh, hey, confrontation. Exactly? Only chance. All right, hold on. Third of our time is already gone. Uh, Piaggi, he is uh, immune to logic. 
It was so real. I... I don't understand it. Oh, Lord. Are you going to test me again? I think we're going to speak to him about his dream. Questioning. Tell me, Your Eminence. Do you know anything about symbols and dreams? Come. There we go. Get this some of that effort back. This law rejects all divination through dreams. You ought to know that. Of course, I, I wasn't suggesting that these visions were messages from God, Your Eminence. But it might be that when we rest, our mind imagines situations based on things that left an impression on it. Take your dream, for example. What did it speak of? I'm not sure that I can speak about it. Don't worry, Your Eminence. There's no one else here but me. Well, I was right here, in my room, and you came to see me. Then it all became confusing. I know that Mr. Von Volner was here too. He... No, no, it's not possible. What was he doing? He tried to harm you. Damn it. He does have memories of what happened. Your okay. Eminence, Interesting. you have no reason to worry. Because I'm right here in front of you, in perfect health. Yes. Yes, you are right. You're probably just a little tired. Overworked, that's all. That's it. Just a bit tired. Anyway, thank you for <laughs> listening. Please excuse me, Louis, if I've wasted your time. You came to see me about the confidence, I imagine. And here I go rambling on about uh, I don't know what nonsense. No need to apologize, Your Eminence. Think nothing of it. <sighs> what did you want to speak to me about? Right. It's now or never to get him to change his mind. That's logic, but we don't do that. Hold on. Dear Lord. Let's go back to his uh, manipulation as well. Don't abandon me. I am your humble servant. Show me the way. Wait, manipulation? Oh, sorry, I keep forgetting straight away. Oh, he's vulnerable to that as well. Okay. I must admit that opposing you pains me, and it pains Lord Mortimer a great deal as well. I can well imagine. You should know that I am not happy about it either. He's an upright man who, like yourself, spends his time helping others and doing good around him. But you know that better than I do. I owe him a lot, you know. Your Eminence, if you feel you owe him something, let me tell you it's not too late to show it. It's thanks to him that I took the Holy Orders. We met when I was very young, here, on this island. After our encounter, I had the firm conviction that my duty was to take the Holy Orders. Uh, to tell you the truth, I owe him everything. Have you ever thanked him for it? Why? Never. Does he ever you think about... You must find me ungrateful. I would never be in your eminence. Older? You came to persuade me to join him, didn't you? I don't have that power, but I do sincerely believe that Lord Mortimer serves a righteous cause. You are an angel who brings peace to the soul, my son. Listen to your heart, Your Eminence. You are right. To hell with all this political manipulation. I... Yes, I must listen to my conscience. Yes. Listen to that little voice in your head. What does it say? Yes, Louis. Jeez. I will vote for William's project. I will follow you. I'm sure it will mean a great deal to Lord Mortimer, Your Eminence. Once again. Wait, Thank I thought you, George son. Washington Please already was on now. Lord Mortimer's side. Pray. Of course, Your Eminence. Hmm. I'll be on my way now. Oh, he's it's already kicked me out of the room. Okay. Yeah, geez, hold on, we gotta find where is Washington's room? That one just here. Oops. Uh okay. Okay, here we go. Wish me luck. I mean, provided that he's even in here. Oh, he is in here. Okay, hold on. Let me just go steal stuff first. There might not be anything, though. Oh, I heard something. Hold on. Oh, it's just the door. Okay. Let's speak to uh, Mr. Washington. Mr. President, I was looking for you. Well, and are you, would you believe it? 
What on earth are you up to now? You make me change my mind for the vote of the conference, and then you proceed to change sides yourself? Yes, I I do understand oh, you being so surprised. so it's my fault to begin with. I'm like, sorry, I completely forgot. there have been new developments <laughs> since then. What are you talking about? In fact, you were right. I've been thinking about it since our discussion, and I've been able to talk to the other guests. You should have listened to me, you young fool. You were absolutely right. Please accept my humblest apologies, sir. All right, all right. I have my share of responsibility, too. After all, I didn't have to listen to you. Listen. <laughs> Jeez. I must apologize once again, but it's not too late. Louis, listen. This is the last time you'll be dragging me into any such schemes. You realize you are playing with the destinies of nations. For goodness sake, grow up, young man. You're right, Mr. President. I cannot apologize enough. Please come back to us. Of course I shall come back. But from now on, please keep me out of your shenanigans. I promise, Mr. President. And try to stick with one opinion, <laughs> at least until the vote. You That's have so my funny. Word. Good. Now leave me. I have work to do. Okay. All right, we just got to find this um, von Volnir character. I need to talk to von Volner. Oh, jeez. Blasted. Home is with him. Gentlemen. Louis. I'm sorry, but we are waiting for Duke Manuel. If you wouldn't mind leaving us. I should think you already have enough to do as it is. Very well. I didn't mean to disturb you. Just my luck. He'll only talk to the Duke. Right. We'll have to fix that. Oh, am I going to possess uh, uh, Manuel Godoy and do it that way? Hmm. Interesting idea. Yes, monsieur. Is there something you wanted to add? Concentrate. I need you to listen carefully to what I have to say, Godoy. I am all ears. Louis, push. I need you to do me a little favor. It's working. That's it, Louis. Get in his head. Oh, dear. What is happening to me? I, I do not feel very well. I need your help, sir. Get in his head. Oh, hey. Oh, perfect. Thank you, monsieur. I'm sure I'll know how to take full advantage of your vessel. Now that I am Manuel. Oh, we don't have to walk all the way there. We just take it straight there. Duke Manuel, here you are at last. Sir Gregory, Mr. Von Volner. Thank you for agreeing to this meeting. I'll leave you with Johan a while. I still have a few things to settle. I shan't be long. See you later, Sir Gregory. Oh, God, no. Come over here. I'm warming myself up. I had the misfortune to step outside and I'm frozen solid. Whoa! I wonder what he was doing outside. Something to do with what Holm asked him for, maybe. Mr. Von uh, Volner, like, uh, I uh, wanted to one? speak to you. I'd like to make you an offer you can't refuse. I'm all ears. Now, we don't have much time, so here it is. You will vote for Mortimer. What a strange idea, Kodoy. You are being ridiculous. Tell me now, why would I do that? Oh, hey. Uh, so, hold on. We've got to check out... Um, i got to try to remember them as well. So, he's, he's vulnerable to diversion. He's only immune to occultism as far as I'm aware. Damn, traitor is about to drop us. Hmm. Because Holm doesn't really know what he's doing. He reacts indiscriminately. He is isolated. Don't underestimate his capacities. He's far from being on his own. Just one word from him, and nations will rise up in his support. He no longer has any allies. Look around, for God's sake. Allies? He doesn't care about allies. Once back on the continent, he will raise armies willing to die for him. They will all fall to their knees just to serve him. Because you are making a big mistake on one point. 
He has no end of power. <sighs> right. Not a great start. I'm you are wasting your time, Duke Manuel. You know nothing about me, and your attempts to manipulate me have no effect. You behave as though we were close. Yet ever since you arrived, you've only been interested in your own little self. I don't, don't like say that, man. We may not be friends, but we are allies. Is that so? And what do you know about me, exactly? If he knew I was Gregory's son... <gasps> what?! He wouldn't try it on like this. About you? Next to nothing. Jeez. Except that you happen to be Sir Gregory Holmes' son, right? What? What do you mean? But, uh, ah, that means he's also now a demon, I'm starting right? to have interest to you, no? Uh, I've never spoken to anyone about that. <laughs> Quite surprising, isn't it? You see, I'm full of surprises. In short, whether he's your father or not makes no real difference to me. <sighs> Speak for yourself. <laughs> Come on, Johan. Don't make me laugh. He has never thought of you as his son. I'd wager that you'd always hoped he would one day, even though he treated you like a master treats a useful slave. He is, at best, a mentor. Stop me if I'm wrong. <laughs> but, uh, tell me, why do you want to follow Mortimer all of a sudden? Mortimer is planning something. We don't know everything. He must have something up his sleeve to be so confident. Ah, really? How the devil did he find? I always forget, so it's just occultism, but... Doubt that I hope the sun. Oh, hey, diversion. All of this is just a show. That. He has contacted all those we represent. Nice. What do you mean? That everything is already decided in higher spheres. William <laughs> Frederick. The King of Spain, the Pope, William Pitt. I don't understand. Lord Mortimer has invited those who work in the wings of power to take a hand in swaying the decisions of those who actually hold it. Everything is already played out. He has already won. But, uh, how is this possible? We've all underestimated him. He's fooled us. We're done for. Look, it all hinges on the next few hours, Johan. Look. I hear everything you're saying, but there is no chance that Mortimer can make us all change sides. That is why Sir Gregory can but win. You understand? Think again. It's already too late. Ah, I'm getting a bad feeling. Now, okay. you're the this last one. one this left. one, this one Your should loyalty work. loyalty toward Gregory is honorable, but no longer makes any sense. If you don't change your mind, you'll be venturing into dangerous waters for no valid reason. Unless it's to win. Yes, but at what price? Think of all those who, who will be hostile toward you afterwards. Just think about it rationally a minute. Prussia has nothing directly at stake, so why put your position or your life in the balance? I... I hear you. Honestly, betraying Gregory is... Well, it's... It's unthinkable. Unless I simply don't have any choice. Yes, he's finally cracked. Thank you for warning me. You're welcome. There is nothing more that natural was between allies. I did what I could. Now, it's up to you. As for me, I'll vote for Mortimer. Good luck to you. Good luck. Good. I mustn't lose too much time. See you later, my Lord Duke. Have a nice rest. Hmm. Well, I think that's everyone. Louis, there you are. Well, tell me, how did it go? I did my best. Whom did you manage to persuade? Well, all there's no point in wasting <laughs> any time. I'm proud to report they've all come over to our side. Ha <laughs> ha, Louis, I'm impressed. I was sure you'd succeed. I'm proud of you, my son. Even Johan? How did you manage to do it? 
I possessed Godoy. You possessed Godoy, of course. Very ingenious of you, I must say. Son, you've accomplished a veritable tour de force. I couldn't have done better myself. Now we are ready. The conference may begin. Assemble everyone in the conference room. Meet me there and let's get it over with. I guess that's probably going to be the end of the quest. Let's see. My friends, here we are at last. Oh, maybe not. Gathered together to close this conference. I would first of all like to thank you all for making the time to be here and lend your services. Gregory, I, I believe I may speak for both of us when I say that we are honored by your presence here. You, you are perfectly right to do so, William. Thank you for putting your faith in us and for coming here to participate in this conference. Thank you for helping us to make the best decisions. And I especially want to thank you, William, for, for perfectly hosting us at your home during these past several days. It seems I'm not a sure bit all off. the guests would agree to that. In any case, Holm doesn't seem to be himself. Duchess Hillsborough will also not be voting. The poor woman has suffered a lot of upheaval lately. As she was feeling quite poorly, she apologizes, but she preferred to return to the continent. The Duchess? I hope it's nothing serious. I mean, Don't worry, Mr. President. Dead. I had okay. someone escort her. The Duchess simply needs rest, and now she is in good hands. I must say, Sir Gregory, you are beset by bad luck. Indeed. One would think that I am hounded by ill fortune. Good. I think we can begin. You will vote in turn on the question that interests us today. Are you for or against the transfer of ownership of Louisiana from Spain to France? Monsieur de Richet? I vote for. Duke Manuel? For. Wait, hold on, hold on. Go. Uh, disciple. Politics. Okay. Your Eminence? Four. But I... Gregory, please. Monsieur Napoleon? Four. Mr. Von Volner? Four. What? Gregory, but... please refrain from interrupting the voting. You know the rules, brother. President Washington? Four. The votes are now cast. The huh. project Jeez. is therefore approved. Dirty traitor! Mr. Godoy. Soon you will be in charge of passing the territory of Louisiana over to France. It will be done. What have you done? Me? Nothing, dear brother. What have you... Oh, wait, hold on. To me? What have I done? Nothing, Gregory. You did it yourself. A word of advice. In the future... Oh, that is, if you have one. Don't drink someone else's cup of tea without checking what's in it. Father, what happened? Sir Gregory, what's the matter? William, what have you done? Not now. Wait, what? Oh. You, you are mad, William. Father will, father will punish you for, for this. What? He will probably try, unless I get to him first. Jeez. I cannot die! No, you cannot die. You are, however, losing all sense of reason, as well as all your special abilities. What? What did I drink? Can't you guess? There are but few things that can have such an effect on such as we. You would know that if you ever ventured even a little way off of father's beaten track. I... Revenge! Oh, no, my dear Gregory. You will not be taking any revenge. You will die stupidly, alone, enclosed in that rather withered body. Help. That's really intense. Help After me. several centuries Help. of near absolute power, here you find yourself on your hands and knees, hoping in vain that someone is going to help you. Tell me, what does that feel like? Never happened to me. Can't be good. You cannot leave your body. You cannot project yourself elsewhere. You cannot even contact father. Go ahead. Try. 
But you are my brother. So I ask you to remember that all this is your own fault. And I want you to understand I get absolutely no pleasure out of it. Well, very little. <laughs> That's when I started to think Mortimer was a really cool a guy. A new order is born today, brother. Enough of father's hegemony. After all these years of servitude, I can finally stand up and oppose it. You chose to serve him, whatever his excesses. Now it's up to you to face the consequences of that choice. <laughs> Matt, <laughs> I am stronger than, than you! Ooh. Well, I didn't fail anything. That's pretty cool. Okay, and that's uh, the end of today's episode. Quest 14, the final vote. Let me just take a screenshot there. Um, yeah, geez, that was intense. Was not expecting any of that. Um, yeah, uh, we'll s thanks for stopping by and we'll see you in the next video.